What's going on guys? It's Tony Sauce. Thank you for checking out the video. Welcome to the next episode in my first time playing RuneScape series. In this episode, we take on the Black Knight's Fortress quest. Probably one of my favorite quests in the game so far. I had a really good time doing this quest. It was a lot of fun. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more content, and let's dive right into the video. That's the Black Knight's Fortress. I've been telling everybody that one of the main things I want to do in this game is, like, fight high-level monsters for good drops. I feel like that is going to be super fun. Like, getting, oh, free salmon over there, but... Oh, someone picked up all the food. Shoo. Who's this? Why is this guy highlighted in blue? Does anyone know why this guy's highlighted in blue? I've never seen this. When do you think you'll want to jump on members? I think I'm going to jump on members once I finish Dragon Slayer and get my attack level up. We're in the same team cape as me, probably. Ah, okay. Did the team cape... I thought it was just for style. Did they, I guess they have some sort of like... Wait, what the hell's going on here? We got some monks? What the hell is this guy using? Like a giant cannon? Defend spears attack monks because they will never kill them and they will never die. Oh, wow. The monks don't attack you? Do they just weaken you with that spell that I was seeing? What is that? Level 4 range? Nice. Alright, what do I do here? No quest helper? A madman? <laughs> Oh shit. Die intruder. <laughs> what four? Come on. Damn, a lot of zeros. How many zeros am I gonna hit? Jeez. There we go. Four. About time. Let's see if I can go in. There we go. All right. I should go investigate. Okay. Do I have to? Should I talk to someone? Fortress guard. Hey, get back on duty. Uh. <laughs> I wouldn't go in there. Those black knights are in, in an important meeting. They said they'd kill anyone who went in there. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't care. I'm going in anyway. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Maybe not. All right. We're going in. Remember that those seven cabbages I got from the clue scroll? I think someone was like, yo, that's actually a unique drop. <laughs> Chaos altar, interesting. Where else could I go? Is that a secret wall? No. Oh, it is. Push wall. This is kind of a cool quest, how I'm like going through this area and having to figure my way around it. Okay, I assume I have to go this way. Oh, we can pray right here, okay. Chaos altar, is that gonna like be bad for my character? No, okay. I think someone said, hey, mix sway. Is this guy talking to me? City boy, is there anyone in here? No, I'm good in here. Oh, listen at grill, this is a cool quest. I like this, this is cool. So, how's the secret weapon coming along? The invincibility potion is almost ready. It's taken me five years, but it's almost ready. Only a Draenor Manor cabbage will do this. Don't get lazy and bring any old cabbage. That would entirely wreck the potion. Ah, okay. I see where this is going. Alright, let's take a couple of them just in case. Alright, we got some cabbages back to the Knight's Fortress. Let's not waste our run. Oh, shit. What am I not wearing? Oh, chain body. Let's go. Okay, I can't use the door. Alright, let's try full black armor. I think I have full black armor, right? Do I need the sword too? They have like black boots. Um, am I wearing full black armor? Do I need a black sword too? Right, let's try it. Nice. 
Nope. All right. Can't do that. Maybe I can. Oh, oh, through the hole. I bet I dump it in the hole. Yeah, I know about the OSRS mobile app. That's crazy. I would love to like, if I was like in like a doctor's office or something, waiting for a long time, just pull out the phone, start grinding fishing. <laughs> I wonder what it's like on the phone. Is it is it like just as good as the browser? Probably not. What do you know? I figured it out myself. I was like, cause I knew that hole was gonna be for something. I was like, what the hell is that hole for? Examine hole. You can see a cauldron directly below. Use the cauldron on the hole. Cutscene. Oh. Was that it? Did I finish it? Did I finish the quest? So I just got to go talk to uh, that guy in Falador. Damn, this guy's got the gold trim black armor. That looks nice. Um, so far, the questing in this game has been pretty cool. I really like how, for example, like in Skyrim, when you do a quest, it, it just tells you exactly where to go. Like there's literally a marker on the map telling you where to go and who to talk to. In OSRS, it's much more vague. It, it kind of reminds me of Dark Souls quests in a way. All right, where is this guy? Let's see what I get from this quest. All right, three quest points. That's good. 2,500 coins. Awesome. All right. We're at 28. We're really banging out these quests. To the west of the city, there's a building you go down to go into the mine. So it's underground. Right here. Oh, maybe in the mining guild. Dwarven mine and mining guild. Okay, I assume I go to the dwarven mine. Okay, next to the party room. Top right of the city. Okay, awesome. So I can do that here then. 10 mining. I'll probably do a little bit of mining right now. I don't want to do it for too long. I feel like I could do that off the stream. It might be a little boring. I think there's there's that birthday event I can do too. Oh shit, look at all these people. What are these people doing? Open chest? What's this? Party drop chest, smelly sock, bruised banana. What the hell is all this? All right, who do I talk to? Warhands. Damn, look at this guy, yo. Some of these players look really cool. Oh, I, oh shit. Dragon candle dagger, a birthday outfit, a birthday plush. 10th birthday cake, cape, 10th birthday balloons. All right, well, that's cool. What does all this do? Whoa, that's kind of cool. Instead of a cape? Yo, that's fresh. The, the cape does better bonuses, though. Is all of this just cosmetic, I assume? <laughs> it's kind of cool with the rainbow boots. Scorpion. There's the king scorpion. All right, what do I mine? I guess just whatever, huh? We can probably go right in there so I don't get attacked. Oh yeah, we're kind of ripping through this. What did I need? Uh, level 10 mining? So in terms of anything else I should do. So I'm doing the Knight Sword right now. The Mistal and Mystery quest sounds kind of interesting. But other than that, any other recommendations on, on what I should do? I might just go exploring at some point and check out like, oh, the, the mines are pretty big, huh? Archery shop. Mining shop? 
general store. I might I might go check out what's over there. All the free to play ones are doable. The largest grind you have to do is the pl uh, player level requirement for Dragon Slayer. What do you think? All right, what level do you think I should be in order to do Dragon Slayer? I need protect from magic. Oh shit. So I need kind of a lot of prayer XP. How do I level up prayer? But yeah, that was really fun. Oh, what? Did, oh, a clue geode? That's a clue scroll, huh? Awesome. That's sick. All right, I got 10 mining. Oh, this is the, what, the mining shop? Oh, archery shop. Oh, we can't, oh, this is a member shop? All right, here's the mining shop. Oh, rune pickaxe, 32K. Oh, I can use a steel pickaxe. Should I just buy one? How much is it? Five, oh, I don't even have any money. All right, so we'll, we'll, tele, we'll teleport to Varrock. I love the teleporting, that's so cool. Oh, I can sell these rune scimitars too, huh? I don't know if anyone was there earlier, but literally just like two rune scimitars on the ground. Literally sell both of those. That's going to be like 30k. What are those guys doing over there? Oh, these guys? Yeah, what are these guys doing? They're like putting on a show or something. We are the traveling cow mages. Are you kidding me? That's so funny. Yeah, I'll probably make like a cosmetic tab. Holy shit, we're about to have 70, 76k, and I'm gonna sell the wine. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned because we have a ton of footage to edit, around 100 hours of gameplay in my RuneScape journey, so definitely subscribe if you guys wanna see some more of that content. Once again, it's your boy Tony Sauce, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.